Hello, Leos, my awesome lions and lionesses. I missed you, Leos. Leo, it's Sunday. I hope you're having a relaxing day, uh, some leisure time for yourself. Um, Leo, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Leo, what's coming towards you in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Leo. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Leo, for Leo's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Leo in their life? And how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming towards Leo in their life? And how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Wow, this one is looking at me as extra message, important for this reading. Wow, Leo. Ooh, uh, you're very disappointed in somebody, Leo, and you want to clear the air. Somebody pissed you off, disappointed you greatly, and you want to break the silence. You want to clear the air. You want to express your feelings. Yeah, somebody really, really got on your last nerve and disappointed you greatly. It hurts you. You want to clear the air between you and the person, whoever it may be, whether it's your soulmate a family member, co-worker, neighbor, whoever. The first person that comes to your mind is the person. So uh, there is something they did or said or both that really upset you. It touched the nerve and you want to clear the air between the two of you. You want to express your dissatisfaction with the whole situation but you don't want to fight, you are wise. You don't want to argue, you don't want to fight, you don't want to bring any tension in. You, you want to avoid a serious argument. Yeah, you want to have peace. You don't want more drama. A lot of you are dealing with a Virgo, also um, Capricorn, but they could be any sign really. This is you being quiet, silent, trying to use your sound judgment, intellect, uh, wisdom to uh, decide how to handle this situation the best because you don't want this to explode in your face. You don't want more problems. You don't want arguments. You don't want more stress, but you feel a great need that you need to clear the air with that person, whoever that person is. You're waiting for the right time to do it. You know you're going to have to do it. You know it. This is you preparing yourself. This is you being strategic, wise, intelligent, making a very wise assessment of this whole situation to figure out how to proceed correctly with the least amount of stress. Um, let's see. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Leo in the life and how is Leo currently doing on the summit journey? Yeah, I see. This is you having fear uh, that it may backfire. Yeah, this is you not knowing, not seeing clearly how to proceed correctly. You just know that you need to express yourself, clear the air. Oh, Leo, you feel betrayed. Whoever this person is, you feel betrayal by this person. That's why it, it got on your last nerve. This is betrayal. You feel like this person, whoever they are, betrayed your trust in a major way. They did something without integrity, without thinking of you or others. Yeah, you feel betrayal from that person, whether it's your relative or neighbor or friend, coworker, business partner, whoever. You feel betrayal. That's why you are so upset. Yeah, you see, you want to handle this justly. You want to do things right, correctly. This is you, beautiful energy to describe you, king of wands, king of action. You want to handle this responsibly. 
Yeah, you see, this is you kind of trying to figure out your best options here. Oh, is it two cards? Oh, two cards got stuck. This never happened before. Ah, okay. Judgment with seven of cups. You are very wise, Leo. You don't want to burn any bridges. You don't want to create any karma for yourself. You want to reconcile with this person, meaning you want to be on peaceful grounds. But you feel that in order to reach those peaceful grounds, to be at peace with the situation and this person, that you need to let them know how betrayed you feel. Okay? That's what pissed you off, the betrayal part. Wow, this is heavy. You have wisdom, Leo. You have a lot of wisdom. You want to, you feel a great need to clear the air with this person, but you want to find peaceful grounds with this person. You are wise. You don't want to seek revenge or vengeance. You want to have things done peacefully. Yeah, this shows that you are an advanced soul, that you are, um, you want to live your life with integrity. Oops. Wow. This is heavy. Let's see what. These are going to be extra. Yeah, you see, uh, this is Libra sign. Uh, justice. You want to handle things justly. Yeah. You don't want to do things without honor. Yeah. You want to handle this situation honorably. These are the other three that fell. Wow. Death card change transformation yeah wow this is beautiful this is beautiful change transformation something major happening here this is you you are a peace lover at heart you want peace harmony you don't want more disharmony you don't want craziness you don't want stress you don't want arguments you want peace and harmony and you know that if you approach this situation with love even though you were greatly angered by being betrayed by someone you trusted uh, you ultimately want to find middle ground where there is peace harmony uh, understanding forgiveness and love and you know that to get there you both you and the other party will have to discuss things uh, objectively Honestly, you want to break that silence, but you want to do it with love, not hate or anger. Yeah, or judgment. That's harsh. Ooh, you are advanced. You are advanced, Leo. What a beautiful reading. You are wise. You understand the laws of karma, the laws of cause and effect. Um let me see this. This is you making a very wise assessment of the whole situation, trying to handle it justly. Universe, please show us um, what's coming towards Leo. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, you see? Now, I usually don't like emperor energy unless the emperor energy is surrounded by good cards, which it is. So this is you, wise, very wise, perceptive, not abusing your power, intuitive, uh, not arrogant. You see, you're trying to make amends, make things right uh, by using a peaceful approach with love, with understanding, with compassion. Yeah, you see? You want to make amends with someone that betrayed your trust deeply and hurt you deeply. But Seven of Swords shows that that person was aware what they were doing and they did it anyway. So that shows dishonesty on their part and you are aware of it. Uh, you, you discovered it. So you're still trying to be very fair, understanding, compassionate and handle it the right way. This is beautiful. I'm loving this for you. You're going to handle this justly. Now, let's see what's going on with your soulmate. So this is whoever you're thinking of while watching this video, Leo. Universe, please show us um, the soulmate of Leo. The soulmate of Leo. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Leo? And how is the soulmate of Leo currently relating to Leo, especially emotionally and what's on soulmate's mind
Let's see, Leo. Wow, you see, they want to approach you. This is them hesitating, not knowing how to approach you correctly, what to do. This person feels a lot of passion for you. They're scared of your rejection. They're not knowing how you're going to react to them if they approach you. Scared. Yeah, this is them fearful of your rejection. Yeah, they're scared. This person is over-analytical, scared. So uh, for them to feel all these energies, this person is aware that they did something wrong towards you, mishandled the situation. And because they realize, uh, admit to themselves at least, that they handled something the wrong way or uh, misjudged the situation or mishandled the situation, they're scared of repercussions, of your rejection, of your judgment towards them. Universe, please show us um, what's going on currently with the soulmate of Leo and how is the soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time? They want to see you. This means also apologies, peace offerings, gifts, explanations. They want to see you face to face. Yeah, they want to gift you with something. They want to reciprocate. They want to meet you halfway. Yeah, they do. They want to take action towards you. A lot of you are dealing with an Aries and Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, you see, they feel like they're going to have to be very brave, have a lot of courage and inner strength to approach you, to contact you, to initiate this contact. They're scared of rejection. They're scared of failing. They're scared of rejection and judgment. They're not able to release you, let you go. This is them holding on to you. So this person feels like they need to make amends with you. They need to fix something, justify something. Yeah, they want to put work into this. They want to prove themselves. Yeah, they're hoping this will happen. They feel major connection with you emotionally, spiritually. A lot of you are dealing with Aquarius and Cancerian and Taurus. Yeah, this is them hoping, wishing that something positive will transpire here. Look at all these major arcana showing up here. One, two, three, four. Like they are preparing themselves to make contact with you. Even though they're very scared of your reaction or judgment or both. This is them scared. This is them overanalyzing excessively, worrying, not sleeping, not resting. They think you either going to reject them or block them or tell them no. A lot of you are dealing with the Virgo. You know, please show us uh, what's going on currently with the soulmate of Leo and how is the soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time? So a lot of you are dealing with the Virgo. Virgo keeps popping up for some reason. It could be any sign, really. Yeah, you see, this person feels single, available. Uh, not together with you. They they are not in a relationship with you. That's how they view this connection. But they feel like they're going to have to do something. This is them at a crossroads. They're going to have to reach out to you, uh, communicate with you. A lot of you are dealing with the Libra. Ooh. Um, this person feels deeply heartbroken. Uh, and... They're hiding that pain that they feel. They feel heartbreak. It looks like this person has been betrayed by a lot of different people in their life, and it's hard for them to trust. They're also dealing with some very toxic family members. Uh, mm, they want to clear the air with you. A lot of you are dealing with Aquarius over here. And Taurus, yeah, this person wants to make amends with you. They want to fix things between you two. Yeah, yeah, this is them coming towards you with uh, good energy. This is good energy, though. They want to come towards you uh, with integrity. You see, this is my favorite king, king of pentacles. Uh, Leo, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you. 
on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Leo, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.